Okay, Brittany, I think you have to request me. Oh, good, you did. Perfect. Yay! Everyone, Brittany is coming on right now, and then Danielle. Uh, hey, let me make sure these. Oh, perfect. You girls are both in. And let's see, accept. Yay! Yay! Hey, Brittany. Hi. Oh my gosh, it's so cool that you're here. Danielle's here too. It's okay. Instagram takes forever okay. sometimes. You have to like take a second to let it accept. I don't know why it's not doing it. Okay. I have to learn from you because I don't know any of these things. I know. Uh, Danielle, keep accepting it or maybe leave and then accept it again. I don't know. It's like not doing it. It's so good to see you. Are you in your car? Are you doing pickup right now? <laughs> um, Tilly's in physical therapy, so I'm just chilling oh, in the car. Oh, fun. I know. I was going to say back to school hasn't exactly started yet. Right? No, no. I'm, I'm waiting. I, the countdown is on. I, I, I cannot wait. Like, it's two weeks. I mean, not that I want them to go back. It's just like, no. you know. Oh, I want them to go back. It's time. <laughs> it's time. They miss their school. They miss their teachers. It's t it's time. Um, I was gone for so long for traders. Yeah. And then we just went on vacation. And so I'm home kind of for the, it feels like for the first time. And I, my schedule is crazy. crazy. Hi. Crazy, I know. Hey, Danielle. Hey. Oh, look at how pretty you look. You both look so pretty. Oh, I did I did my little Y2K hairstyle because I read online that that was trending now. So I was very excited about it. <laughs> yeah, you know? I love it. It's so I bought this hair. I tried, hair. Right? I bought this. Back, I try to do cute little hairstyles. It never works for me. And then I always take it out at the last minute. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so you girls uh, got back from the traders a little while ago. And did you hear the traders are nominated for Emmys? I did. I'm not surprised at all. The like oh. the caliber of production is like it feels so next level. Like mm -hmm. the the caliber of how they shoot everything yeah. and film everything, the way that Alan hosts it, like I'm not oh, at yeah. all surprised because it's it's like the next level of production value. It's crazy. It is it's so epic. I totally agree. And uh, so Alan said that he acts more on the traders in an article. He just did an article with Us Weekly. He said that he acts more on the traders than he actually does in real life, which I thought, or like, I guess in his acting life, right? Which I thought that yeah. was really interesting. Yeah. And I would always try to like, I would watch him so carefully because I want to know what he knows. And he was so, I mean, he never gave up any. Thing. Like he was super good at it. He knows what he's doing. He's obviously a professional and he did a great job because I would always be like really analyzing like every move that he made. So anyway. I love that. Danielle, what was your favorite Alan ism? Well, I just love the fact that he brought Lala everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's new I, for your season. I don't think that was on season one or two. Yeah, I love the yeah. fact that she was there every and to the point like when the weather wasn't great the cast was like is she okay is she gonna be okay and so we were yeah. really we were big fans of lala and <laughs> and alan was like he was so professional yeah. like it, i just can't imagine yeah. and you guys the outfits that you guys are gonna oh. see oh my god the outfits oh my god it, insane like insane. they are so good Oh, and Lala would have we outfits. We saw some like teases from production. Alan posted a few photos, yeah. like behind the scenes stuff, and they look next level epic. But let's talk about okay. Next so level. They, Alan said Tom Sandoval is one to watch for fashion, which blew my mind. Did not expect that. Tell me about that. I mean, Tom brought it for sure. Like he, like every day was. I I mean Danielle, you can pro you can agree with me if you. Uh, believe this to be true but every day was like a different uh, not like a character but every day he was presenting kind of something new so that doesn't really <laughs> surprise me I feel like I feel like that can be said for most everybody there they're like I feel like to be honest with you Lala's bet was better dressed than me I felt so <laughs> prepared like I felt like I had really like done my shopping and then I showed up and I was like oh oh god Oh God, like what are, what are we gonna order? Like this is, I was felt so not up to par. Like yeah. the, the wardrobe was 
done very well. Oh my God. I, done I very can't well. wait. Yeah. So best dress besides Alan and Lala, who is the best dressed on the cast for the first episode? Um, I thought Chriselle always did a really amazing job. Sierra, I loved Sierra's first episode outfit. Bob loved, H. Loved, loved, loved. Oh, Bobby Bob H. Yeah. Bob H. You guys. Was always amazing. Put a nine. Bob the drag queen obviously brings it. Put a nine. Um, yeah, like so many people looked so good to be honest like everybody yeah. looked incredible yeah it was it was very well done i seriously yeah. can't wait that's my favorite part of the traders is the fashion yeah and i think the twist so alan said that it's a very twisty twisty season that we can expect so yeah i know you can't you know go any spoilers but uh any teasers that you can give about the twisty twists no <laughs> <laughs> Danielle's like, I'm here to follow the rules. And also, while I'm here, I'm going to make sure that Brittany follows the rules, too. We will say <laughs> nothing. Okay. I'm dying. I love that. I love that. Okay, so speaking of twists, are you watching Big Brother this season? Big Brother 26? I have watched it. I read it. We're, I'm not behind. <laughs> I'm not behind yet because it's only been not even a week. So I'm not yet behind. I will be behind, but not yet. Okay. Yeah. I, well, I I'll tell it. you this. It is crazy. There's an AI twist. So they were able to bring an AI house guest in. We don't know because not, they never voted the house guest in. So we don't know if this person would have actually come in or not. But now the AI is controlling the whole game. They are like, I mean, I swear they've done eight competitions already. They are like up on the competitions. Mm -hmm. The game's producers are giving them really great comps this year yeah um there it's so fun to watch so if you haven't caught up with it danielle if you're reading it it's like the competitions just to watch those are so much fun um the house guests are very reminiscent of like old school bb they are like unhinged it's really I, fun oh, that's all I've we want that. yeah we I've want drama that. yeah yes. i want to see fighting i want to see backstab i want i want i want to see people cry yes I, I, I people wanna, are crying. Oh, people are crying. That's what I want. I want breakdowns. I want mental breakdowns. I want I want to see feelings hurt. I want to oh, well, see backstabby. I want to see a showman's. I want to see a a three man's. I want to <laughs> see jealousy. I want to see it all. Well, that there, was there it. Is, that's BB. Yes, that is BB. And there is a showman that's budding apparently last night. So this is the tea last night, apparently. Um, Matt and MJ McKenzie, who is one of the other house guests, they were up until 3 a.m. in the backyard. We all know what that means. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, future future showman for sure. Showman. Um, and I guess they were just in the backyard together. Um, one of the other house guests caught them and has been talking about it on camera all day. I was okay. like, this is the start of the showman's. I can't wait to see what happens. They actually have, so tonight we have an episode for the veto, and then they actually have a live, um, so there's three nominees this season. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. then they have a live uh, competition, I guess it's called the AI Arena, where someone can either go home or like, so someone comes off the block, so they're only voting for two people, essentially. Mm -hmm. What do you guys mm -hmm. think about three noms? Does it make them, they have, you have to use have the veto? Do they have to use the veto? So, so, so this is, the veto's already been used. So but the veto- have to use it this season. That's what I'm asking. You don't have oh, to use yeah. the veto. They're, yeah. they're still playing a veto. So they're playing the HOH. They're playing a veto competition. And now they have a third time to save themselves. So it's almost like three chances. And look, in my opinion, three chances you're out. Like if you go home after three shots, like, sorry, not sorry. Yeah. Like you had three- It is what it is. Right. They, whenever- you have that many people at the beginning I think that's fine and you know the twist it never stays like the whole season like the whole thing will probably be like four or five weeks or whatever and then it'll be back to regular old school big brother so I think that when there's that many people in the game that many people competing it's probably good for a little shake up because it causes like a, I mean obviously when you nominate people you're going to have two people still there versus one. Right. So it's going to cause a little more friction. It's going to cause a little more, which is what the whole thing is designed to do. So I think it's probably a good idea and like really effective to get it going really but, quickly. And your sister's 
season. Didn't they have three as they well? They did, yeah. So Lisa, okay. because Alyssa was like MVP every week, right. she got to basically pick a third person every single week. So it was really interesting, but this is, I think this is why they're going to not uh, do this like AI nomination thing, because it does happen where there's one person nobody's even talking about. There's like right. one person always, it's going to keep happening where nobody is even thinking about them. Um, this week has yeah. kind of been this guy, Kimo. He's from Hawaii. He's really like laid back. Everyone likes him. So nobody is even thinking about voting him out. So there's always two people people are talking about. So that's yeah. why the third And then just it's like a random third. Right. The third is kind of random. So, but this, I like the twist because you don't necessarily know who's going to win this like third competition. So if, if, let's say this Kimo guy wins, then it's still between the two they're already talking about. But if he doesn't win, then he's still on the block and nobody's been talking about him all week. So I think it could be really interesting and change the game a lot. But I don't know. I like the twist. I think they'll probably do it till like jury, right? They usually do twist. Yeah, I mean, maybe. It always just, you know, it's always like part. Like it, it's really strong at the beginning and then it kind of like starts to fizzle out typically. Mm -hmm. Or if you're season 12, it lasts exactly one week because you get to have it four out with one. <laughs> Everyone's com uh, everyone is comparing the saboteur twist to this AI twist. Oh and my god! Yeah, poor Annie. She didn't have a chance. <laughs> I, I I didn't even think she was the saboteur when we voted her out either. I was just like, oh, that's a nice surprise. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay, so they were like, really seriously? What the? What do we? What now? What yeah. now? What do we do? I know. Well, do do either of you have any favorites so far? Well, it's hard. I think, well, I know. So first and foremost, I was following Cam before he was even announced. Oh, be okay. Yeah. Um, so oh. I was, I was following Cam because he's, he has really good taste in music and he had the swag about him that he would give some insight. And so I used him just for music suggestions. Oh, wow. So when oh, they, when they announced the cast, I was like, wait a minute, is that same guy and I went it is him and I like him personally because just on the what I follow him he just seems like he has this swag he understands music yeah. he seems very mm -hmm. calm so I tweet I'm like how's he doing and they like really under the radar very really yeah. saying much I was like sounds like a big brother winner to me yep. I yeah. don't know about y'all so um Again, I, I, I'm, of course, rooting for him. Um, it's hard to root for people because you don't know how they are. So you can't say, oh, I love this person. And then they say something you're like, nope, don't love them, hate them. Um, <laughs> yeah, <not>. exactly. Like, <laughs> you're, you're like, almost scared to say that you don't like scared. someone. Because then the next day, they're going to do something horrible. And then you're on the hook for having liked this oh, they freaking find monster. Oh, tweet about them saying, you yeah. know. Yeah, and they're like, no, 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 I didn't, no, I didn't no. know. I didn't know about <laughs> I didn't know him it's like, like that. It's very... I, it's see, very scary to like co-sign on you anyone. You can't co-sign because it's too new. So yeah. the season's yeah. too new for me to make a commitment. Okay. But yeah. I will say with Cam, um, is it Quinn, the one with yeah. the long hair? Uh, Quinn with the curly hair? Yep. The one that said he's yeah, like yeah. Jason yeah. Guy? So of course he yeah, says yeah. that. I'm like, tell me more. Yeah. Okay. Tell me yeah. more. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so of course I'm watching him. Um, um, and then, you know, Angela's just good TV from what I see. Good TV. Like, oh. thank you for showing up and understanding the assignment. The assignment. We really appreciate that. Thank you. That's obviously fun to watch. <laughs> no house. She probably gets Don't ever do a house meeting. She did a house meeting. Yeah, but... uh, she called one. They didn't necessarily get the invites. They didn't know they were having no. a meeting. She... They hadn't even she... had their coffee. Right. Like, no, no. She's like. Um, Could you imagine I'm serving living with someone that wakes you up at 9 a.m. <laughs> in the Big Brother house? You have just put your microphone on. You haven't had your coffee. Some people are in the shower and they're calling a house meet. You would. They she would, came down the stairs. I was like, what? Yeah. I love everything she's doing. I'm loving the whole Leah glitter storyline. Yeah, I'm living for that. It's, it's great. Everything. It's fantastic. It's everything. <laughs> it's everything. I I'm also like, really like. Uh, Leah, I'm excited to watch her. I don't, I mean, it's new. You don't want to co-sign on people, but right. I'm enjoying all of the But I heard Leah's like Britney's mini me. I heard that she is like the next incarnation of Britney oh, of just dragging people 
in the DRs. I'm like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I fantastic. I love it. <laughs> we haven't seen so I'm following the feeds, so I'm kind of up to date on everything that's going on, but we haven't seen yeah. the DRs, which is why right. I'm so excited to watch tonight because we're gonna get this whole like whole other side behind of the, the scenes, movie. yeah. Behind the scenes, what's you going to on? Control and true characters in these DRs. Yes. Exactly. That, and that's what we need to see. Like, that's what we're still lacking. Because really, like, the first two episodes, the premiere, you get, like, this teeny snippet of each person. And it's really not, like, a good indicator of, no, of no. who they're going to be on the all. show. Not at all. I mean, and also when you're getting this, like, snippet of them, it's so, it's, like, kind of what their personality is. But it's so, like... Yeah. No. I don't know. It doesn't even describe who they are as a person or anything. So no, not I'm at all. To it's such that. like a package. Yeah. It's such like a, a gift yeah. package of what they want you to see in yeah. them versus like how they're really going to acclimate and handle themselves in the house. I right. just remembered that one girl's intro. I can't even remember her name, but she's like the mom that's a beauty queen. What's her name? Uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn. I haven't heard anything she's about like, her. Well, she's, really she's not even on the feeds. She's I like, have. I haven't heard anything about her on Twitter, but when I was watching the segments, like, this is my DR from my couch, and she's like, my husband says that I'm, like, a spicy cupcake, and I'm like, your husband did not say that. Like, no one's husband has ever been like, babe, you know what you're like? You're like a spicy cupcake. Like, no, he didn't. No, he didn't say that. Your husband did not say that. I'm going to say it right now. No, he didn't. And then, and then she like continued it later. She was like, my husband just says that blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, your husband didn't say any of those things. Fine. That's just like something that you created this and then you put it on your husband. Your poor husband is like, he's probably in the background going, what? Like, what did I say? He did not call you a spicy cupcake. That never happened. What's a spicy cupcake? What the hell is that? It didn't happen. I, I, what real. Is a spicy? I mean, it's like you put sriracha on a cupcake and it's a spicy cupcake. What, I don't know. What, what is it? Nowhere. If my husband said, Brittany, you remind me of a spicy cupcake. I'd be like, I want a divorce. Call 911. Something has happened. Something is happening. We're having a reaction. Something's going down. Like, this would not just be like normal chit chat. Like, you're totally a spicy cupcake, babe. I'd be like, something's wrong. What happened? You're a spicy oh. cupcake. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a what? <laughs> so I'm weird. So that what, what is that? What does, wait a minute. What does that taste like? What is a spicy cupcake? Nope. Nobody knows. It was. But that's like on par for just like those premiere packages being just like. <laughs> oh yeah, it sounds like it sounds like a bad recipe on worst cooks of America. Yes! That is like what I was totally <laughs> spicy <thinking. laughs> cupcake. Who puts a spicy? No one goes. Mm, this is a spicy cupcake. Right. It's so great. Like well, the bright out the window. Yep. Do you like a spicy cupcake? No. It's never, no one's ever said that. No. We're calling it out right now. No one, and certainly not your husband. No. No one said it, but definitely not him. Definitely not him. I love that. I love that. You know, it's funny because, Brittany, your intro package, you were like, I'm just a small town girl. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do remember it. I was, I remember, I remember it clear as day. It was super embarrassing, and we should never talk about it again. I'm just a small time girl yeah. that is about to snatch souls in the right. DR. Thank you very much. I think you. Well, I am you. a small town girl. Like that's true. Yeah, no, for sure. But like, I think you. I I just remember like mine. I literally am like I'm a Vegas cocktail show waitress or something, and I put on a showgirl hat. It was like why? I why? still have the dress that I wore to on like premiere night too. You, you may still have yours. It's literally oh. from Forever 21. I still have it in my closet. Like half of my wardrobe was from Forever 21, at least. We we will have to do on, you know what? On the cruise, speaking of, on the cruise, we will bring our like entry out. Do you still have yours, Danielle? Girl, no. <laughs> I, was, I had no style. I think I wore black <laughs> pants, a, a mock. <laughs> Lavender sleeveless turtleneck. Oh my God. We can, we can <laughs> recreate it though. Like we can find that. Amazon dupes. Wait a minute. 
I remember when we get we walked up, Marcellus, the first thing he did, he looked me up and down. I know he was judging me. I knew he was judging me. I'm like, I'm kind of cute, right? He's like, girl, stop. I thought I was cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And then I completely forgot that, fashion like, sense. Your picture didn't oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the lavender purple turtleneck. And I had the uh, the Oprah Winfrey top show haircut. Oh, that was a hot mess. Okay, I. That was a great haircut, that, though. Like, honestly, hair that haircut hair. was of the yeah. moment. That was, was the moment. Yeah. I, and then I forgot. I kept combing my hair. I had the same haircut, and I was only 16, and I had that haircut. <laughs> like, I had the exact. The pageant flip, yeah. I had it. <laughs> well, I, we all did. Oh, and yeah. then I forgot. And then as the show started going on, I was like, Fuck it. I don't care what I look like. I start wearing bandanas, so I didn't know if I belonged to the Crips or the Bloods <laughs> or the Smurfs. I just gave, I lost so, I just did not care what I looked like anymore. I was just a hot mess. I just didn't care. I was like, whatever. And I just had the bandana. I didn't want to comb my hair ever. I was like, this Pajamas. is stupid all the time oh, oh all, all the, the time first day you have high expectations you're like i'm gonna wear a yeah. dress every day makeup yes. hair is gonna be done and then by day like five you're like no this no. is not no not happening. i don't care no i just don't I care that, i just don't care. i felt the same about um traders a little bit i danielle was gonna be like oh yes i remember you complaining um <laughs> Uh, all I cared about was how cute I was going to look. And then when I actually got there and felt the freaking temperatures at the oh. Arctic Circle, yeah. I was like, if I would have packed a ski suit, I would wear the same ski suit every single day. <laughs> like, I don't care about looking cute anymore. I don't care about anything that I brought. Whatever's the warmest thing I can find is what I'm wearing every oh, single day. I was so and annoyed so because they put on makeup. I was just annoyed they had to put on makeup. <laughs> So much, yeah. a lot, a lot of makeup too. Like you gotta really try to look good. Like those cameras are really high quality. Oh. You gotta like put the extra good layers on. You have like, to put the good layers. Fun fact in All Stars, I remember they called me in the diary room one time. I think it was Kenny. I don't know if you guys had Kenny. And I remember they called it, I was looking all kinds of crazy. I did not even care. <laughs> My hair was going every way but the right way. And I was looking hungry. I walked in that diary room, I sit down, I'm like, okay, what's going on? He goes, um. Hey Danielle, you, you 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 think you wanna like go out and comb your hair? <laughs> <laughs> he was serious. And I looked at him and I went, Is this not a reality show? Is this a reality show? He goes, It is. I said, Well, this is reality. This is oh, no. this reality. This is reality. <laughs> and he went, You know, this is on a major network. Like he really clowned me. He's like, This is on a I said, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. And I can tell you what scene it was. I was looking, my hair was whoo, whoo, I was hungry. Like Give that girl some more slop because she is starving, totally starving. Mm -hmm. But oh I just didn't care. Well, I'm a super excited to see you guys on yeah. the cruise. I probably won't look my best there either, but I'll be <laughs> there. Pajama bottoms. And we will not be starving on the cruise. We will no. always look our best. No. I mean, listen, the best part about cruise is like cruise hair don't care. You get to like just go out True. there and your hair is just crazy all the time I'm because just it's the human. Do the wavy thing. Yes, the wavy thing you just like it doesn't matter we're gonna have a blast so for everyone watching we're all going on a cruise um june 9th through the 13th 2025 it is gonna be epic it's the big brother post game cruise we're gonna have us so the three of us janelle howie james Alyssa, yes Cameron, yes yes and we're gonna have america and corey and i think <laughs> there's other corey. Surprise big brother house guests that are gonna be coming on the show as well it's gonna so, be so much fun I it's gonna be so much fun it's great i meant the cruise <laughs> and the cruise yes <laughs> it's so uh, much fun it is uh there's like five water or five swimming pools there's a ton of water slides mini golf ice skating surfing rock climbing the food, everything is included. So your entertainment's included, your food's included. It's the Utopia of the Seas, which is one of the newest Royal Caribbean ships. It's brand new, yeah, brand, brand new. new. Like I said, this it's literally yeah. not even out yet. No. I'm going to bet the boat because I'm not showing up to like uh, some ship from the 70s that's maybe been yeah. here two rehabs. Like no. I'm going to bet the boat. And the boat is solid, okay? It's brand new. It's still in the shipyard. We're putting on the finishing touches. Like, it's going to be ready to go, and it's going to be amazing. Like, it's the best of the best. It's going to be best. It's going to be great. And 
we're gonna be yeah, there we're all, and we're all gonna be there we're gonna be hanging out the whole time say less. we're gonna be doing appearances <laughs> the whole time yeah Brendan, myself Corey, and america are doing a comedy show so get ready for that yeah okay, okay. 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 i'm a comedy show yeah <laughs> perfect <laughs> Brendan, I will win. okay <laughs> <laughs> It's, hey, I'm really excited I, about it. I need to buy an extra ticket you for that, or how do I oh, make sure that I get to watch that? <laughs> we need to put that a camera on I'm you guys doing comedy. a comedy show, yeah. and a camera of Brittany watching the camera and, show of us. And you, and, and you, and we'll you. sit side by side. We'll sit side by side, <laughs> because we're going to drag y'all. Please do. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, and it is so kind. Everyone that wants tickets can go to postgamecruise.com. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, it, please drag so us. Fun. It's going to be hilarious. Brendan is like <laughs> taking this very seriously. He is like, bet. taking the oh, assignment very not seriously. Not Brendan. No, oh. Not, not, not Brendan. You no, know, the funny thing is he I told him he was doing it and he's like, no, no I'm not doing I'm really not doing that. And I was like, no, we're really doing it. And he's like, well, then, you know, it's going to take me like a year to prepare. <laughs> and like, he great, because I got you a year. You tell Brendan that if he does not have three digs on me in that comedy set, I will be disappointed. <laughs> I want at least three digs. At least three digs. Totally. I will be disappointed. Totally. <laughs> It'll become a roast. <laughs> oh, my God. I think I'm going to get a bullhorn so I can just yell from you guys from the audience. Just to, Please like... do. Please do. <laughs> I need at least, at least three, yeah. at least. I think he's like secretly excited about it, but he's always like, you put me in these like awkward situations. And I'm like, no, no, like, this is what you signed up for. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it's going to be hilarious. Yeah, it's going to be <laughs> so I think I'm laughing before you guys even start. I'm like, oh my God, this is going to be, yeah. it's going to be a train wreck, but it's a train wreck that I'm looking forward to watch because it's oh, going to be 100%. amazing. <laughs> and we're also, we're going to have like, like a white party or something so like all the cruise sure. stuff that we normally do like bring your white gowns bring your like cocktail wear bring your fun outfits i want to do a unitard party but so far nobody else has joined in on that i think it'll be no. fun. you know like all the unitards that we always like wear on the show i know oh, it's a no for me how about you <laughs> No, for me. No, everyone has said no. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Janelle I've, was like, no. Hold on, my audio just cut out. I, what? <laughs> hold connection. on. A bad connection. Huh? I have, I still have like three of ours because on season 13, I feel like we wore one every single like day. And so we have the super power one or whatever. I have that milking the cow one. Uh <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have no idea if I have one or not, but I don't feel like I ever got one. Is Chanel gonna I'm bring the to star? Think. I mean, it's gonna be classic. The I mean, star oh, with the star. star. I thought that was the, I told her that was the one that we everybody wants to right. see her in. But right. yeah, yeah, for sure. She has declined the offer it, to it's, participate. It's, <laughs> I, that, I think I think that she has to. I fully support you Great. rocking the you know, I know. I'm gonna talk about you like you got a tail. But where the unitard? Yes, exactly, exactly. I feel like she needs to wear the unitard, wear the star, and oh like every how iconic would that be? Everyone would be so excited. Iconic. Yeah, I mean, a hundred percent. Major photo, major photo opportunity. Okay, major yeah. photo op. Right. So this, is, I mean, this whole cruise is gonna be so much fun. June 9th through the thirteenth, twenty twenty five. You can come hang out with us. We'll be sure to talk about everything Big Brother. We're ready to talk about traders. We're going to be talking about, I mean, I feel like we're going to talk about everything. It's just fun to like, you know, come on the cruise, hang out. Traders with us. will have, have aired. So Danielle will talk about it yes. because it will have aired. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I cannot wait to hear and watch along with you girls. I feel like it's going to be the most epic traders. I'm so excited. Your no comment. Is really, really. <laughs> I'm no excited. Comment. I know everyone else is excited. I know everyone's excited to go watch Big Brother tonight. Um, and in June, June 9th through the 13th, 2025. Do you have anything else to add, girls? Uh, the link to book is in my bio. Yeah. Same. I'll put it in mine once I figure it out. I just got an iPhone recently. I don't know if you guys noticed. I no longer have a burner oh. phone. Thank you very oh. much. 
Okay. I have graduated. I just noticed a better picture quality. Yes, I I didn't realize on this. <laughs> so um, this old geezer is trying to keep up with technology. So I'll put it in my link. Uh, send me what you, you know, because I don't know stuff. Because okay. I'm like, what? I always hand my phone to people. I'm like, here, make it pretty. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you how to do it. <laughs> I just gave Brittany I will see today on the Amazon Live stuff. I'm like, this is how you get I'm on. Learning. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning slowly. But um, yeah, everyone go to postgamecruise.com. Sign up. The show is almost, or the show. Why do I keep saying show? It is going to be a show. That's why. The cruise is almost sold out. So you do want to grab a, a stateroom while you can. Some of the cabins are already sold out. So you want to make sure that if you are coming with us that you grab a room because you don't want to be a floater. No. Because, you know, floaters need to no. grab a life vest. They Roger. might need a life vest on this boat. Who's to say? But here's the tea, y'all. <laughs> don't be that fan because you're going to see it. You're going to see the after party. Yep. You're going to see us having a good time. And you're going to regret not coming out. And it's rare to have Brittany, myself, Rach, Janelle, mm -hmm. all these big oh. name people. Is Kaser there too? Kaser, yeah. what's up, Kaser? How is how, how we, is it there? Oh, Bo, yeah. you got James, you got all these people. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to be fangirling. Like, I mean, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. And to get when you guys see us together, we're so much fun. So we're much fun. Riot. Yeah. Like you guys don't know how fun I am. Can you feel it? I'm not that fun, but they will make up for it. They will make up for the, the fact fun. that I lack a lot of fun. The fun we'll, is just we'll oozing a, out. We'll have a DR set up for you, Brittany, so that you could do all your DRs. I can just <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Put some DRs on the cruise. We'll do a DR together. Uh, like, did you see Rachel uh, in the unicorn? My kids here. Did you see Rachel in the unicorn? I gotta get my kid, you guys. All right, bye. All right, bye. Okay. It's so good to see bye. you. Bye.